Hey, what's going on, uh, Lamont at large? I am driving through the Tucumcari Cemetery here in Tucumcari, New Mexico, not very far from the border with Texas. So this video, I'm in my van driving through the cemetery for one of a couple reasons. Number one, uh, this video has more of a message that I wanted to say, wanted to get off my chest. Number two, I don't really have time to do the cemetery. I kind of, not that I'm pressed for time, but I, I would like to make it to Texas. Still feeling a little bit under the weather, but I'm a lot better than I was the last couple days. But the reason why I'm driving in my van in this cemetery well, I've already done this cemetery. I've been here before. But this cemetery is very, very curious in nature to me. This is the only cemetery that I've ever been to all across the country. Now, I haven't been to cemeteries all across the country, but I guess pretty much I have from, from New York to Los Angeles. And I've been to quite a few cemeteries. I have many, many more to go to. But this is the only cemetery I've ever been to that I've done a video on where I received not only backlash from the families of the people lying interred here, but also death threats. Uh, which, you know, at the time that I did this video... I was still pretty much new to the whole doing the cemetery thing. And you know, and it's already been about a year now that I've been doing uh, the cemetery videos, uh, 10 months full time. But uh, I did my first one probably around February or so of last year. And then in April is when I started really kicking them out. But this is the only cemetery that I've done a video on where I was getting emails from people Saying like, oh, hey, why'd you show my aunt? Hey, why'd you show my brother? Hey, why'd you show my dad? Hey, why'd you show this? Hey, why'd you show that? And at first I was like, geez, I'm like, you know, and I actually called some of them back. I called about three people back because they left their phone number. And, uh, you know, anybody that has like any questions as to why I'm doing their video or, or, or why I show their loved ones yeah if they leave a number i'll call them back no i've talked let me tell you i've talked to I, w I wouldn't say a lot i would not say that i wouldn't go as far as to say that but i've talked to quite a few people that i've done videos and i show their loved ones and you know it's a very controversial subject when you know you think about it I don't know many people on YouTube who do what I do. As a matter of fact, I don't know any. Uh, the only grave channels I, I know of, they show famous people. Or they try to take the uh, the cemetery thing and they try to morph it into like some kind of like a, ooh, scary ghost, creepy. You know, they try to instill that kind of vibe. Which, you know, I don't blame them. That, that's, that's their content. They want to do that, go ahead. I, I don't do that because I, I'm not trying to get some, some ghoulish reaction out of my videos. You, you know what I mean? And people often ask me, like, oh, why do you do the videos? You know, and, you know, I, I, I don't know. Maybe because maybe I don't have a life. Maybe that's why. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I have reverence for the dead. Maybe, you know, people that have been dead for 100 years and no one kind of pays their you know graves any mind and uh you know in all, all in all honesty you know a lot of us were curious as to how people came to be here particularly when they're young you know what i mean uh i'm i've always been fascinated by how people get to be be here and no not i'm not talking about like people who've lived to be 80 85 90 years old no i'm not talking about them i mean they've lived a long great life um, I, I, I've always been mystified about the twenty-somethings, about the teenagers, and even more so the ones that died in like the '60s and the '50s and the '40s. 
because that information is just not readily available online. So you just kind of always wonder, like, what happened to them? You know what I mean? And people leave comments on my channel. Oh, will they probably die from this? Will they probably die from that? Well, you probably don't know. I'm going to I'm going to go with my assumption that you probably don't know. So this cemetery is just odd to me because I'm not too sure if possibly somebody shared my video on maybe a Facebook group and everyone got all, you know, alarmed that I was coming out here and showing their loved ones, which you know, I remember one of the one of the gentlemen that I talked to. I mean, he threatened me. He pretty much threatened me. He said, "Like, oh well, you know, I, you know, if, you know, if somebody sees you, dang, you know, he 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 threatened me indirectly." And I told him like this. I said, "If you ever see me in the street, I said, yeah, just just get me from behind, my friend. Just get me from behind. Don't don't head me up. Just get me from behind. You know that, that it'll probably work better in your favor." And another gentleman I talked to, he was asking why I was being so disrespectful towards his aunt. And I asked him, I said, did you even watch the video? Because I don't know if you guys watched, watch some of my videos, most of my videos, hardly any videos. I'm really not sure. But the only two graves I've ever been disrespectful to was that one that I did in Missouri, the the bully of uh, I, I don't the bully of Skidmore. Yeah, that guy was a that guy was a real piece of work. That guy was a real piece of work, and uh, at his grave, yeah, I had some very unkind words for him. And the other grave was a man that was executed in Texas for a uh, for a gang rape and murder that he committed that him and him and five of his friends were tried and convicted two of them I believe were sentenced to death and I had some unkind words for him and I will be doing a video about him again but I have a very very interesting um, side note to that uh, that uh that grave so uh i will be in that area within the next few weeks so please uh stay uh stay tuned for that one so other than those two videos other than those two videos i would say 99.9 percent .9 of of my interactions here are well into the good and I don't have, I don't mean any harm. I don't mean any disrespect. It's simply, you know, the point is to tell a story that maybe, you know, nobody, you know, would have known if I wouldn't have stopped by. And the one thing about my channel I do not like, I do not like, and I, and I, I really do mean to change this, is I do not do enough research when I go to a particular cemetery and it is um it becomes very very taxing and time consuming now I'm not complaining because this is you know yes I do make a couple bucks on YouTube but I don't make a living on YouTube now I was fortunate for the last three months where I didn't have to work because I had a particularly very good month of in YouTube where uh, one of my videos went viral and I got a nice little check from it that way that way I could kind of give myself a buffer from you know not having to scrounge for a job but now guess what I got to scrounge for a job and you know there there's a healthy balance between me doing this channel trying to do as many graves as I can as many cemeteries as I can and at the same time I got to work now, even though I don't have any children and I don't have any real bills or rent to pay, uh, you know, I I do I do have bills. I don't have a mortgage, but I I do have I do have bills, just like you guys out there do. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm anticipating my my van breaking down 
at some point I'm gonna have to have uh, repairs on it. You know what I mean? And and, and guys, I, I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I, I I like what I do. I love what I do. Actually, I I never would have really have thought of what I I would have said that I love what I do, but I do. And you know, so I do mean to do more uh, back research which I must have ADD because when I start back researching graves and stories about how people have died and stuff like that, I get so lost in the, in the rabbit hole of true crime murder mysteries. It is impossible for me to stay tr on track on one thing because I, oh, I, I, I start reading a, a story about a woman who was murdered in the twenties in Dayton, Ohio. And then, uh, and I need to stop doing that. I need to start writing all my thoughts down so give me time guys i i really do need to get the channel like better in terms of like more stories about how people died and what have you anyways this this video is going on long too uh, too long um anyways i will be back out here i will do the video um, the video that I did out here was deleted. I did not delete it because of the threats that I got or, or the backlash. I deleted it because one of the graves I got wrong, the, the, the information on how they died. So I, I felt that I should have, it was best for me to delete it. Anyways, guys, thank you for listening to my, <laughs> my rant, if you will, or, or what have you. And, uh, I will be back here, uh, at the Tucumcari Cemetery. Okay, I'm going to hit the road. Uh, I'm heading towards uh, Texas. So thank you for listening to me, guys. I will catch up with you on the next video. Peace out.